Welcome to the next week training video provided by Trustangle Company. My name is Sarah Siofi, and in today's video, I will be demonstrating how to create a purchase order. First, we will navigate to Transactions, Purchases, and then click on Enter Purchase Orders. On the purchase order page, if you click on the field label, you will have a description for that field. All the fields with an asterisk are mandatory and we cannot save this page without filling them. For the purchase order number, the system will generate it automatically. For the date, NetSuite inserts today's date for the posting date of this purchase order but you can type or pick another date. Now we will choose the vendor. And the system will bring all the information related to that vendor, like the email and subsidiary and the currency. But for the currency, you can choose from the currencies that were previously assigned to this vendor. Now we will choose the location where you want to receive this purchase order. For the employee field, if you are entering a purchase order for another employee, select the employee name here. Otherwise, the system will choose your name by default. For the Receive By field, enter the date by which the items to be ordered are needed. If you have any note, you can insert the note on the memo field. For the items, choose the item that you want to purchase. Enter the department. The rate. And the quantity. When you finish, click Add. On the Billing sub tab, for the terms, you can change the terms that is previously set as a default for that vendor for this specific PO. For the Communication sub tab, for the messages, you can choose the messages to be printed emailed, or fixed, and you can write the vendor message. On the files, you can attach any files related to that PO on the attach file. When you finish, click Save. 